day three of Vlogmas and the word of the day is hanging. I am feeling very sorry for myself this morning. Um, last night was great fun, really, really enjoyed it, but I went to bed far too late. It was about half three in the morning and uh, drank way, way too much. So I now have a very sore head and I'm feeling very sorry for myself. So today will mostly be spent lounging around. Um, I would still be in my pajamas if it wasn't for the fact that my daughter has a uh, dance, street dance performance. Her Christmas show is this afternoon. So um, I've had to get showered and dressed, ready to take her to that. Um, but a guarantee for the rest of the day, it will just be Vegging on the sofa, watching Christmas movies, um, and uh, yeah, not going to be a huge amount to report today. Um, but I hope you guys are having a nice day, whatever you're doing. Good morning after the night before. We're all a bit tired around here, aren't we, this morning, Dylan? Yes. This is Dylan, one of my boys. And I just thought it might be quite interesting uh, to let you know that we are feeding our tortoise this morning. Obviously, we feed him every morning, but I thought, you don't know that I've got, we've got a tortoise. What's his name? Gerald. Gerald. And what's he having for breakfast this morning, Dylan? Some chicory. Chicory. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Cucumber. Cucumber. And some pak choy. Pak choy as well. Gosh, he's spoiled this tortoise. So we're preparing his breakfast and we'll t I'll take you up and I will introduce you yes. to Gerald. This is Gerald. Good morning, Gerald. He is a horsefield tortoise and he is how old? Um, he's one just over one and he's very hungry this morning so shall we see if he's going to have any of his breakfast oh what's over there Gerald what can you see hey look let's see if we can give a look oh he's going to have some breakfast there he goes he likes to climb on his breakfast Sometimes we find him sat in the middle of the tray, like lording it over his entire breakfast. He's having some chicory. Oh, nice. There he is. That's Hi. Gerald. I'm having my third cup of coffee this morning. It was quite a late light night last night, but we had such a fantastic evening. Uh, so a big thank you to Rachel for hosting and for doing a lot of the cooking. It was just amazing. We had a brilliant evening, uh, but I am feeling a little bit tired this morning and a little bit of a sore head, but not too bad. So I'm up and about. Um, I just wanted to catch up with you before I started because I've got a few bits of work to do, um, just boring Sunday things, and it is miserable here today. So it's a good day for staying home, watching a movie this afternoon. I'm going to light a fire. I might even do some baking with Charlie if he wants to, um, but just a normal, chilled out family Sunday. So I'm popping back. Um, I've lit the fire, as promised. It's still miserable outside. Um, but I thought I would just pop on because I'm having a productive day, although I'm not doing anything I can really show you. Um, I'm doing lots of work. I'm getting the PDFs ready to uh, to go up on the website for the Christmas classes that we were going to do. But we're actually just releasing those as PDFs. So I've been spending a lot of time in front of the computer um, and just watching a bit of Netflix in the background and that kind of thing. But I'm going to get another half an hour and then I'm going to finish and I'm going to be cuddling some kids watching movies and having a proper rest of the Sunday really so um Charlie wanted to say hello, hello. I'll just pan around there's Charlie <laughs> so he's um he's my other twin Dylan you met earlier on today so which is quite nice so I hope you guys are having a great day today and uh, I'll catch up with you again in a bit so seeing as I'm good for nothing else today, I thought I might try and get a little bit of my knitting kit done. So this is the uh, tap cardigan kit from We Are Knitters. They very kindly sent Nikki and I a kit so that we could try out their products and um, and tell everyone about them. Um, and I have to say, I didn't get off to the best start. So um, first thing I have to do is with the back panel is to um, do 84 stitches and then do six rows of rib stitch, which is what I've done here. Um, I had to undo it, I don't know how many times and start again. I really, really struggled with rib stitch. And in the end, I had to get my mother-in-law to help me. Um, but I have now got six rows done, which means that I've now got 200 rows, or 199 to be specific, of garter stitch to do. 
to complete the back. So that's going to keep me busy for a little while. Hopefully I can get a few done this afternoon. Look, I'm sat at my sewing machine. I know, it's amazing. Uh, to me, this feels a bit strange because I haven't sat down at a sewing machine properly for ages. But not only that, this is my new Janome sewing machine. So these are the ones that we're working in partnership with Janome for our new classes that are coming up, uh, the online classes. And I just thought I would come and have a little play with her. So and to be honest, I've been slightly scared by her because she's very fancy and she's very big and I'm, I'm just I think I've been putting off sitting down and actually doing sort of starting it I don't know why um I think it's just trepidation rather than anything else so I've got half an hour there's a lot of sport being watched in my house today so now's the time I'm going to make myself a strong cup of tea and I'm here she is it. it's the Junomi memory craft 6700p and I'll do a little close up. I've got pressure foot pressure. I've got a cutter. I've got needle down position. I've got lots of things on here. And I've got modes and twin needles and uh, mirroring and a bobbin. So this is the stitch guide. That's mode one and mode two. And I like, if I just turn it round, we have got, where are they? I've got a little dressmaker's dummy. There's shoes and scissors and bobbin and needle and thread and cats and washing line and all of these lovely decorative stitches. I've also got some handwritten ones as well. So it says handmade stitch, love and sweet. And that's just mode one and two. Mode three is the whole alphabet, including um, if you're writing things in different languages, you've got different accents above the O's and the E's and things like that. And then you've got a capitalized accent, um, capitalized um, alphabet as well, as well as lots of numbers and lots of different fonts and things. So. Hey guys, so it's the end of day three and um, I've got very little to report today. I did warn you it was going to be a quiet one. Um, I don't know if Nikki has had a more interesting day, but I have spent pretty much the whole day nursing my hangover. So it was a good night and totally worth it, um, but I won't be doing that again for a little while. <laughs> Um, tomorrow we'll definitely make up for it though because we've got lots and lots of exciting things planned. Um, we're off the Bath Christmas Market and I'm also going to pick up my tree and get the decorations up. So tomorrow's going to be a super festive day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi. Hello. We, uh, we have to admit, yesterday we didn't get together, did we? So we didn't do the advent calendar I think one looked at his face and people can tell it's the yeah. next day. I did a little like this yesterday, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> So we'll sneak this one back into the video that's going up today, um, but this is yesterday's advent and then we'll do today's advent. Yes. So I'm on number three. Your turn. My turn for yesterday is a big box this time. Here we go. Ooh. What's it gonna be? Ooh, it's a little. Oh, it's some buttons. <gasps> Yay, what kind of buttons? They're little wooden buttons by the looks of them and I think they are. Little tartan ones, Aww. little checked ones. Let me see if I can get one up to the camera so you can see. Lovely. Look. Oh, They're very nice. cute. One, two, three, four, five, six buttons. Oh no, two, eight. Four, eight buttons. That's very nice. Enough for a shirt? Yeah, that'd be yeah. quite nice actually. 